So it says that you are given again. It is the easy version of the problem. You are given an array nums containing n distinct numbers. Again, mark my words. It has n distinct numbers and numbers are in the range of 0 to n, which means out of n plus 1 numbers, I am having n distinct numbers. So you can easily see I will have one missing number. So I have to just get that one missing number from this array. Now, the harder version, basically a slight harder version of this problem is that you have some n numbers but they are not distinct they are not distinct and just and then you have to figure out the missing or basically the repeating element you can just tell anything but there are multiple variations which can happen maybe the missing elements maybe the repeating elements and all that stuff so if you want you can just comment down below the answer for those variations also but for now let's imagine that we have n distinct numbers out of n plus one elements and i have to find the missing number so uh, for example that you have numbers 301 the original n plus one elements because your n is three because you have three elements so n is three so you will have zero to n which means you have zero one two three so you can easily see that okay three zero one 301 so 2 is missing so answer is 2 and the same way for the next example now although although by this simple example iteration you can for sure see one thing that the most obvious approach is that okay i just want to cut okay i will get the input array input expected array built okay expected array 0 1 2 3 now my original array is 3 0 1 i can just say okay 0 is present yeah 0 is present 1 is present yeah 1 is present 2 is present no 2 is not present oh so like return the answer so for sure the most expected or basically the most intuitive solution which can come to mind at first will be using a hash map or a hash set to know what element should have been present but it is not so i can simply keep track of all these elements in my hash set and then i can simply go and check if that element if this element zero was in my hash set or not yeah it was okay was element one in my hash set yeah it was okay was element two in my hash set no bro okay so this is a missing element so this is the most obvious approach which can come to our mind but 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 we will still see a more brute like a more kind of more complexity approach which has more complexity although it is not at all intuitive but yeah one other way is we can simply sort it down again we just want to increase the complexity so that so that we can tell the interval okay we thought of a lesser complexity approach so one more complex approach a more complexity approach is that you have your input simply sorted again why we are sorting it because sorting takes n log n time which is more than your hash set or a hash map and we just want to increase the complexity so in the very first method or first approach brute force one we will tell okay we can simply sort our firstly we will make the expected array how it should look like it should have elements from 0 to n so i will have 0 1 2 3 then i'll simply sort it i'll get a or i can make a sorted array in the first place then my original array which is 301 i'll also sort it okay also sort it now i can use two pointers and keep on comparing okay zero i have yeah one i have yeah two oh two is not patching which means two is missing okay so return the answer as two by this you can simply solve it again this is just to tell the interview that okay you also know one approach so you will see the top that the time for this will be o of n log n and the space is o of n sorry o of one or you can say o of log n for sorting for java and c plus plus but o of n for sorting for uh, your python but now the fact comes in the most intuitive approach was the actually using a hash set or a hash map so what we did was in that we had this input we just want to know okay i can iterate and check okay was zero present yeah bro zero was present was one present yeah bro one was present was two present no bro two, my two was not present so kind of i can keep track okay just to check if this element is present in my nums or not i will convert this nums into a either a hash map or a hash set so that the searching of an element in this nums will be very fast a o of one operation so what i did was i just grabbed out this num and i can like i converted that to a hash set okay hash set 0 3 0 1 now it will be very easy for me to search i'll go on my zero okay is zero present simple search o of one operation yeah bro it is present is one present simple o of one search yeah bro it is present is two present oh bro two is not present so simply answer is two so we just convert that input nums into a hash set or a hash map and then 
just iterate on all the elements from 0 to n and check which one is not present. So the code is exactly also simple that I make an original set which means converting my nums into a hash set and then iterate on all the elements from 0 to n. Expected count is nums dot size. I went on from 0 to n and then I checked down for every number in my original set in my this specific set and found out okay if that is present or not if it is present simply go on if it is not present which means it is equal to end end which means not present then return that number because it is the missing number so you will see you will actually use a time as o of n because you have to return on all the elements from 0 to n and space is also o of n because you are using a hash set to keep your n elements n nums elements or nums elements in your hash set now for sure they will ask can you improvise that which is which means okay for sure o of n will for sure be used at a time so when they are asking you to improvise they are asking you can you please reduce the space because o of n because you have to iterate on all the elements for sure so can you reduce the space that's a question for sure we can but we have to recall a few concepts for example we see what what what's what's our aim we have some duplicate we have some duplicate if i just see that if i if i if, if i just see that expected original we have duplicate okay three and three is duplicate zero and zero is duplicate one and one is duplicate oh removing duplicate things did you remember something a very known formula x or x is zero when x is duplicate x or x zoring same value gives you a zero and if something is not there which means if i say uh like let's say if i do a x zor x zor y zor z zor z so you can see x zor x will become a zero z zor z zor z will become a zero remaining will be a y so whosoever is unique will actually remain so what i can simply do is i know this is my expected i know this is my nums i can simply zor them up and what will happen by zoring common ones will cut common one will cut common one will cut remaining will be a two and that is the answer so i'll do exact same stuff i will simply again uh, to actually again there are multiple ways to write the same code for this but we'll use the most optimal code which means one pass one way is you can you can simply go and zor all these values first and then go and zor all these values so it will be two pass but if you want to win, do, do it in one pass what we will do is we can zor simultaneously because we know it is i and it is nums of i nums of i it is next i it is next nums of i it is next i this next nums of i oh this element will remain which is n for me it is n it is n in expected array so i can by default say okay by default keep my n and then start zoring i i and nums of i as you can see by default i put a n in the very beginning and then i'll zor i and nums of i so my i is 0 nums of i is 3 okay i'll zor i and nums of i and then I'll zor i and nums of i. Okay. One zor zero. Then I'll zor i and nums of i. Two zor one. Two zor one. With this, you will see that okay, three and three will cut. When I say cut, I mean I mean three zor three will actually become a zero. One zor one will become a zero. Zero is for sure nothing matter, but yes, zero zor zero is still a zero. So that also can cut. So remaining will be a two. And that is your answer. So exact same thing, exact same code that we will have a zor value in the very beginning i will have it as nums dot size which means n by default my value should be n because this cannot be counted because my array size is n itself so i will go on in the array from 0 to n minus 1 index so this index as n will actually be left so keep it in the very beginning itself so i'll keep that in the very beginning which is nums dot size and then i can iterate on all the elements which means i equal to 0 i is less than nums dot size i plus plus simply zoring existing value zor with i zor nums of i and then whatsoever is remaining in the last will be the unique element and with that you saw that you simply solved it in o of n time with no extra space now this is one variation but what if you are not good in bit manipulation and you did not did not was or you were not able to recall this then bro you still have a very basic funda what what it means you have this as the expected okay i need to have 0 1 2 3 i know that in my original array i have exactly n elements and distinct ones 
so i knew i know one thing for sure only one element is missing now these are all the consecutive elements so i know the sum of n natural numbers which is the n consecutive elements i know i can find very easily it will be n into n plus 1 by 2 right so i can easily find the sum see n 3 into 4 by 2 it is nothing but sorry it is nothing but 6 and you can also see the sum is 6 so you know the sum of n natural numbers right you know the sum of this expected you can easily go and find the sum of this original and then subtract because see this is the one liner okay n into n plus 1 by 2 if we know the formula we know the formula again if you don't know the formula you can also add up you can also add up element keep from 0 to n or basically from 1 to n and add up but that will take two pass because one time you will add up next time you will actually next time you will actually add the original and then subtract or as we saw previously also here also let's say you have a some value initialized to nums you are let's say adding your nums of i and then you are also adding your expected in the same loop this also is a variation if let's say you don't remember if you don't remember the formula but i'll highly recommend you should be knowing this basic formula of sum of n natural numbers which is n into n plus 1 by 2 now when you have this as expected sum you have the original sum simply subtract them then you will get the missing one which means i have a 0 1 2 3 i am sub subtracting 3 0 1 so 3 3 will cut 0 0 will cut 1 1 will cut i will remain with 2 and that is the answer so i will get this original so expected sum which is n into n plus 1 by 2 i will get the original sum which is nothing but this sum 3 0 1 and then i can simply subtract that and i will get the answer so again it's very simple that i have i'll iterate on all again my original sum i will have to find because i know okay i will subtract from n into n plus 1 by 2 i subtract the original sum original sum is nothing but sum of all the elements of nums itself so i'll just have the sum of all the elements of the, of the nums and that's how i can simply subtract that from the n into n plus 1 by 2 which is the sum of n natural numbers and ultimately get the answer same time is also same space is also same o of n and o of 5 and that's how you can solve it in four ways again sorting was nothing linked to it but still in interview you can at least tell three ways that will be very good impression to the interview cool thing you watching bye bye